Hello, my friends. My name is Justice Knight, and I can't thank you enough for being here. As I ask at the beginning of all my broadcasts, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Make sure the bell is checked. YouTube notifications are turned on. If you don't want to rely on YouTube, please simply go to justiceaknight.com, the link above my head, subscribe there, and I'll only send you an email when I post a new broadcast. This on Fox News. China finds church for owning wrong version of the Bible. What's even worse is they're calling the Bible pornography, or at least making a parallel line. Don't believe me? We're going to go further. This is part of their overall campaign against Christianity in that country. Why so many of us get up in arms when we see the mechanisms working here, when you have the LeBron James speaking out in support of China over Hong Kong, why we go crazy. There's very good reason. This is one of the worst regimes ever. China's cracking down on Christianity and other religions as part of a campaign by the country's Communist Party to eradicate so-called pornography and illegal publications, that being the Bible. According to a Chinese persecution watchdog, one branch of the Protestant Three Self Church located in the northeastern province of Laling was fined the equivalent of $1,400 after South Korean versions of the Bible were discovered in April. Other Three Self Churches had hymn books, gospel pamphlets, and Bibles confiscated and burned. This is what's happening in China. And yet we have companies, celebrities, athletes supporting the Chinese Communist Party. It's why I said I'd be happy to buy you a ticket so you can get out of the country and go over there to experience what's happening. The letter, which encourages people to report illegal behavior, that's right, report your neighbor. These people, such fans of the 5G network, makes it easy, but the overall surveillance isn't enough in China. No, your neighbor needs to report you so that you don't get a negative credit score, which will prevent you from taking trains, planes, automobiles, whatever it may be. Change the level of housing you're in. Change what the government does to you. So you got to rat out your neighbor so your score goes up. What a wonderful, wonderful society. And then you saw here forced organ harvesting has been committed for years throughout China because if, if the suppression of Christianity isn't enough, the destruction of even Muslims within the country isn't enough. Let's go into organ harvesting. This is a fact, not fiction. China is harvesting thousands of human organs from its Uyghur Muslim minority. UN human rights body hears. We've watched the prison tapes. We've heard the reports. And China has no intention on stopping this, nor even denying it. But yet, our celebrities, our athletes, and our businesses support China. The Chinese tribunal, a group that investigates the organ harvesting, said at a tense meeting of the United Nations Human Rights Council that the Chinese government was taking hearts, kidneys, lungs, and skin from groups, including... Uyghur Muslims, and members of the Falun Gong religious group. The China Tribunal described itself as an independent international people's tribunal and was backed by the International Coalition to End Transplant Abuse in China. Reporting on this. And the world sits idly by. Chinese authorities raided church, forcibly removed members moments before demolition, destroying a church, pulling everybody by force, thousands of officers outside the church, yanking everybody out, and then plowing it down. Funny that LeBron James shows up on my feed there. Exactly why I deplore what everything is happening in the NBA. The sun, China burns Bibles, closes churches, and forces Christians to renounce their faith. Faith in latest massive crackdown. Renounce your faith. Is this part of prophecy being revealed now? Which regime? All regimes. We see it everywhere. Depressing. It's horrendous. And why we have to read these and we have to listen. And just listen in here for a second. Let's go! Screaming over our anthem, screaming over America, stepping on America as if it's okay, but supporting China. That's why you see over on Restricted Republic, if you haven't joined there, I hope you will. At least follow our Twitter feed if you don't have the financial means to get over there, I understand. Follow our Twitter feed, send us an email, whatever it may be. We'll also stay connected this way. It's why you see I denounce it so strongly. I denounce the Chinese Communist Party and I will continue to. And there's the article that I posted also calling out the church and that's what happened to it. When forces came in, removed everybody, removed the leaders and then demolished the very institution. 
Christianity under attack. It's why I don't want us here in the United States mirroring that society in any way, shape, or form. A thousand-person task force demolished the Christian church. That's why we stand so strongly against China and why we will continue to and bring developments like this to open up the eyes of America. Share this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I can't thank you enough for being here. Godspeed and God bless. Until next time, Justice Knight, signing out.